No, dude, come on. I'm not going to play the entire DK rap at the start of each episode, but I will say hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. On the last episode, we finished off all the stuff there was to do in Jungle Japes as Diddy Kong, as well as fought the boss. So let's go ahead and hit exit level, and let's go unlock the second level and get that one started. But before we do that, I want to go inside the tag barrel because someone was upset that I didn't show the little animations that play inside the tag barrel. So let's hop inside. And you can see Donkey Kong here will play a little idle animation when we target him. And also, if we go and target Diddy Kong, he'll play a little animation as well. And the Kongs have different animations in the background too, kind of trying to get your attention to pick them and all that kind of crud. But while we're showing off cute little things, I want to show you guys the idle animations that play as well. If you stand still for long enough, eventually the Kongs will play a unique idle animation. But the lighting here kind of sucks, so let's go somewhere else. Well, this works, so let's just stand still for a bit, and eventually Donkey Kong will do his idle animation. Here we go, a fly pops out randomly, and Donkey Kong being Donkey Kong doesn't just swat it, he actually goes and, uh, eats it. <laughs> how, how could you do that, Donkey? The poor fly, you ate it, bro! Oh, no. Alright, let's swap to Diddy and check out his animation. And here we are as Diddy Kong, so let's just stand still for a bit. And check out that animation for him as well. Well, Diddy, that was awfully dangerous. Diddy, Diddy, stop! You're being a menace, Diddy! Anyways, we're gonna stay as Diddy Kong, because today is a Diddy episode. The second level, we're gonna start as Diddy. But while we're inside the starting area, there's a couple cute little details I wanted to show you guys. These little butterflies here will actually follow you around, which I think is super adorable. There's lots of these different little bundles of butterflies around the start. And I'm sure in the first episode when we were here, they probably followed me at some point. I just never called attention to it. This game has so many random little details that I just love. And just like the butterflies, the fish down here do the same thing. If we go swimming with the fishes, then uh, yeah, they will start to follow us, which I think is just super cute. I love a lot of the little details in this game. I think it's awesome. But enough of that. Let's get back out of here and let's go and unlock level number two. And we can do that pretty easily by just taking the first warp right here. So we'll take that. That'll take us right over to where K. Lumsey is. And since we have the key from the boss in, in the last episode, all we have to do is walk inside and it'll do it for us. Well, actually, we have to walk up just a little bit here. But it'll just stick the key right in there. And there you go. Even though the first lock is actually on the back side of the cage for whatever reason. I don't know who decided to put the locks in that order, but there you go. We unlocked the key, and that'll make Kalumzi extra happy. And now that means that he's going to go and unlock another area for us. In particular, that one. We haven't actually been there before, so we'll have to go up that way and grab the warp that's right in front of it as well. So, let's get to it, guys. Let's just head back out, and we'll take warp one once again. And with that, we're going to go over this way. This is where the level's going to be. So yeah, like I said, we're going to stay as Diddy. You could start as Donkey if you want to, but you guys will see why I want to do Diddy as the first Kong we do in this next level. So let's just go up this way, do a couple of backflips, and let's go grab onto this tree. So we'll climb on up, and we have a couple of... Oh, actually right up here we have some more DK dirt that we can't do anything with. So we'll have to keep that one in mind for later, but not today, not today. But we do up here have a couple of vines we have to jump across, so we'll do that crud. Yeah, the, the hub world for Donkey Kong 64, not nearly as complicated as the hub world for the Banjo games were, but still a fun little hub world. I like it a lot, even though it is pretty simple. So we'll go and grab warp number two, and let's go inside the next starting area, hub area, I guess. Inside here, we're going to have some ammo, which I desperately need because, well, you only have 25 after restarting your game. We could swap right there if we want to. We've got some more wrinkly Kong stuff, which I won't do. But we also have some gongs right here, so if we use our chippy charge to hit this... That'll actually make it sink down into the ground. So let's go hit this second one as well. And for doing that, we're going to have a thing pop out right here. It's going to be a barrel, but the thing is, it's not going to just pop out on the floor. It's going to go all the way up into the air, and we're not going to be able to get that one. Even with Diddy's really high backflip, we just can't quite get it. You could go up top this way, and you could try to jump off the ledge and do like a spinning attack. You can't get in there. 
Now, we technically can get in there as donkeys, so let me show you guys that. I'm not gonna actually go in it, but I'm just gonna show you how you would. So there's a glitch in this game called a moon kick. So what you have to do is find a slope, for example, these stairs right here, and you have to run up them, jump, and then attack just like that right before you land. And then you have to mash B so you hopefully get the kick right here. And if you do it right, you'll get a moon kick. I'm not very good at it. Hopefully I can get it without too much trouble, but I'll just edit ahead till when I get it. Or I'll get it right away. So there you go, that is a moon kick. So using that glitch, we could get inside that barrel and play the mini game. The problem is the golden banana that spawns does not belong to either of the Kongs we have access to, so it'll be grayed out. So even if we play the mini game, we can't actually grab the banana. So let's swap back to Diddy and let's go into the next level. Oh, <laughs> push the wrong way. It's kind of weird. You have to push left to go right and right to go left when you're selecting a Kong. But okay, we got Diddy. Let's go up and get B Locker out the way. It's going to cost us five golden bananas, or it doesn't cost us, but we have to have at least five golden bananas. We have 11, so we're plenty good to go here. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this dwump. All right, so we show them the five bananas. Now we can go right inside our next level. Man, I sure hope we don't get an evil cutscene. Ah, oh, great. Alright, looks pretty evil, but what is not evil, actually probably is evil. We have Angry Aztec, the second level in the game. Help me out, Squawks, what do I do here? Oh, no Squawks. Squawks, what do I do? Alright, we'll just have to play the level all on our own. We'll grab some ammo right here, and we'll go grab some vine. Get across and grab warp number one, as well as find a new enemy. This is a critter, and they're kind of pathetic. They're very similar to Naughty, but they can take a little bit more of a swing. So we can't knock them out with a single jab like that, but if you do a stronger attack, like a dash attack, it would one-shot them anyway, so they're basically just Naughty. Over here we have some pineapple switches, and I hope that the guy that can shoot those is still alive, but we don't really know that for now. So we'll just dodge past the zinger. And go over this way, where you guys will start to think, why the crud did I not start as Donkey? Because right here we've got some coconut switches. The thing is, even if we were to start as Donkey and hit these, technically you can get the goodies on the other side, but you're supposed to wait until later when you have a uh, another power-up from Cranky, so I want to come back for those later during Donkey's episode. So, instead let's just go over this way, and get to a big old open area. And over here, we're gonna have what, as a kid, I always thought was a camel, like Gobi from Banjo-Kazooie, but no, this is a llama. Listen to me, the key to my freedom lies in the clouds! We can't save you as Diddy, dude, you're gonna have to wait till the donkey episode. But what we can do right now is go and grab warp number one, so we can very easily get back to this point whenever we enter the stage. <laughs> I missed the vine completely and take a little bit of damage there. What? Game! Grab the vine, you crud! <laughs> okay, well it is, I guess, uh swinging a little bit it looked like, but we're gonna go ahead and grab that crud. We've got a Trop and Scoff portal, but this one's gonna require 120 bananas to fight the boss, so even if we got every single banana as Diddy, we still couldn't do it. You have to use at least two Kongs to fight that guy. But let's go inside this building. Candy's Music Shop. And there is Candy. Hey, Candy. <laughs> Her feet seem really short. She's got like the high, the high platform shoes, I guess. All right, what do you got for me, Candy? Three coins, huh? Well, hello, Diddy. You just take it easy and let Candy tell you how she's gonna make you feel real good. Why, for just a few little old coins, you can have my musical instruments and extra melons, too. Come on now, Diddy. For just three coins, I'll show you my musical instrument and throw in an extra melon for free. She kind of already said that, but... Yeah, we go ahead and give her some, some coins here, and we're gonna get Guitar Gazump! So for every Kong, we're gonna have to unlock an instrument, and that's gonna be very important. So we got the guitar here. Stand a little closer, Diddy, and I'll show you how to use your instrument. Press and hold Z, then press the up C button. It's sound waves. Wave blast will deafen most Kremlings, but will also reduce the instrument's energy. Top up its energy by finding some headphones. 
You won't lose any energy if it's played when you're on, uh, standing on a music pad, and all sorts of amazing things are likely to happen too. You've got all another melon. So yeah, we've got another melon, which means we have extra health now. So we're gonna have two melons in our health bar, effectively giving us eight HP instead of just four. You have all the latest stuff from me. Come see me later. Okay, okay. So now we can play that crud, and if we pause, you can see on the right side, we have 10 charges for the guitar. It's a very, very powerful attack. It'll wipe out entire groups of enemies, but finding the recharges for it is much more rare than recharging pretty much anything else in the game, so keep that in mind. And you do have to watch the animation every time you use it, so there's that as well, but it's still a very strong attack, which I will sometimes use. So up here, we've got some red bananas. We'll go ahead and get those. Get the warp, get that crud. There's also a balloon. Kind of hard to see it here, but there is a balloon up here. Let's see if I can actually get it. Nope, gonna miss. Come on. Oh, got it, there we go. And we can't get to it quite yet. Well, let me show you up here. We do have a barrel that's gonna have uh, Diddy's face on it, but it's not something we can use until we visit Cranky. And also, on top of this building over here is gonna be where we get the blueprints for Diddy, but we can't get up there quite yet. But if we listen closely, you might be able to hear him up there. Okay, maybe I can't hear him up there, but I'm normally able to, so that's kind of strange. Anyways, over here we're going to have a little peanut button, so let's go ahead and shoot that one, and that will open up this door. There's also a bunch of ammo and oranges along the side, so I kind of do want to grab some of those at least. Mostly the oranges, but you know what, we'll just grab a little bit for now. I think that'll be plenty. So now let's go up and go inside this temple, and this will show you guys one of the main reasons why... Crud, I was too slow. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll go hit the switch again. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit faster than that, Diddy. Uh, but this will show you one of the main reasons why I wanted to start this episode as Diddy Kong. Or start this level as Diddy Kong, I mean. Because right inside here, we're gonna have another Kong. So that is pretty awesome. Sorry, guys. I'm afraid they got me, too. How? Oh, well. And yeah, we're gonna have to use Diddy's big old face to actually uh, unfreeze this water right here to actually get access to, to Tiny Kong over there. We also have a new enemy right here. We've got a Claptrap. These guys are kind of annoying because after you knock them down, they're going to come back as these little chomping jaws and try to get you. If you kill them with a grenade or with your guitar gazump, then the jaw will never spawn. But if you don't kill them with that crud, then you're going to have to deal with that. So, yeah, it sometimes gets me. So I'll go ahead and grab all these right here. And now let's go and hit the switch with Diddy's face. Boom! So that'll make these tongues pop out right here, so it'll give us some platforms to continue the level. Gotta grab some bananas as well. These are on a timer, but it's a very lenient timer, so as long as we don't fall too many times, we're not gonna have to hit that switch again. So we'll go up just like that. I like to do backflips, I think it's the easiest way to get up here. Let's kinda get to the edge, do a backflip. There we go. I guess I'll grab more ammo that I don't really need, and we'll go aim over this way. So I wanna hit this target, and then after that, a big old tongue's gonna spawn out. And it's gonna not stay out for very long at all, so I gotta go a little bit quickly. Let's just get down on here. I'm holding R so the camera's behind me here. And yeah, it's already going back. So go up, grab that coin, and let's play our guitar. We've got a guitar switch right here. So if we stand on that, play our guitar, it won't use any of the charges, and this is how we're gonna unfreeze that water. So if we wanna get to Tiny Kong, gotta get Diddy's guitar, come over here, play that crud, and that will open up the ceiling, I guess, and uh, make some sunlight come in. Hooray! Looking good. So we've got some stuff back here we can't get, so we'll just drop on down. And I don't want to take any of these side paths. I just want to drop in, get inside that water, and we've got some red bananas down here. And we're also going to have another new enemy just over this way. This little starfish guy is called a Shuri, which I guess is probably kind of playing on the word Shuriken, because starfish kind of look like that crud. These guys are not that dangerous, but they will kind of smack you, so you just want to not stay near them for too long. But they're mostly not that big of a deal. So let's go up here, grab some red bananas, and right over there is where Tiny Kong is. But this room is full of a ton of enemies. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Katar's, uh, Katar Gazelle, because that crud will knock out all these guys. It'll knock out the jaws for the clap traps, all the critters, and there we go. It's kind of ridiculous how good it is. So we'll go get all that crud. And over here we do have Tiny Kong, so we'll go talk to her, but we'll have to free her. So she says, hurry up, I want out of this dinghy cell. <laughs> all right. So over here we've got some red coins, and we've got a little switch with Diddy's face on it. If we chimpy charge into that one, it'll make a bunch of platforms around the level appear. And a bunch of letters, K-O-N-N-G. Hmm, I wonder what we have to do with that. We just have to hit it in the order of the word Kong and spell that crud out. So we'll go and smack that one. And 
We'll go up here. Smack that out. Just got to keep chimpy charging into these things. Two down. Let's go over and get that in. Technically, you don't have to do the part where you hit uh, Diddy's face. You could just go and hit the wrong letter, and then after that, you could just start hitting the right letters, and for some reason, that works. The only problem is you have to actually get up here without those platforms, but if you stand on it like this and do Chimpy Charge, then it'll still hit it for some reason, so that's kind of a speedrun thing. I would just hit the Diddy Switch. It takes two seconds. It's not a big deal. So there we go. We've got Tiny Kong unlocked now, so she can collect purple bananas and, of course, purple coins and all that good stuff, as well as her five... Um, golden bananas and up here we've got some purple balloons as well so if we come back here as tiny kong that is going to be 20 of her bananas done just like that so pretty easy to get those well, let's go over here and let's grab this golden banana get our first out of five golden bananas for diddy kong and uh, angry aztec and with that i'm going to edit back out of this temple we are done here all right so we're done with that temple there is more to do there with the other kongs and there's a couple side paths and stuff but I'm not going to waste time showing every single side path when we can't actually do anything as the current Kong, so we'll get to those side paths when they're actually important. But for now, we're going to go up this way and jump along these vines. We can't save the llama, but we can go play our guitar up here, and this is the other big reason why I wanted to do Diddy Kong first for Angry Aztec, which is after we play this one, kind of important to open up the rest of the level. So we play our guitar right here, and that will open up this path over this way, and yeah, basically half the level's over that way. Cranky Kong is over that way. So we really want to play Diddy just to get that crud done. So there we go. Let's go over this way now. So we've got a few bananas in the tunnel itself. And Cranky Kong is nearby. Got some blueprints here, but we can't really get that one. That's purple, so that's going to be Tiny Kong. And those faces on the wall are so stinking creepy, man. That crud always freaked me out. But we're going to make it through this very precarious path. If we do fall in the sand, it's just one point of damage. We could jump back out, but yeah, I'd rather rather not take damage. So there we go. We'll grab warp number three. And here's Cranky. So let's go inside and get ourselves a goodie. This one's going to cost five coins, but we got those five coins right next to Tiny Kong's, uh, where we unlocked Tiny Kong. But we also have just a ton of coins. I've perfected another of my potions, Diddy, and it's yours for just five coins. You won't get much farther without it, so I suggest you pay up. All right, let's go and get those uh, the upgrade here. We're going to get ourselves a brand new ability, Rocket Barrel Boost, a.k.a. Boostum Highest. So using this, well, this is another thing that was inside of Super Smash Brothers. His up B is the Rocket Boost, so that's what we're going to be using this one to do is uh, basically fly around. It's pretty amazing. All right, so we have to go find the barrel with my face on it, and that'll allow us to use the prototype Jet Barrel Crud. And now right here, he mentions Crystal Coconuts. We've already seen those, those little crystals on the ground, but we've never been able to pick them up. But now we will be able to, now that we have an ability that actually uses it. There you go. So when we're hovering, we can, uh, or when we're uh, controlling our dude, we can press A to boost. He said right there, we can hold Z to hover in place, and we can press B to shoot. So we'll get to that, crud. But that's all we can do here. So immediately, what I want to do is go back out and take warp number three. Actually, I can't take warp number three, but I will eventually take a warp. We're going to have to walk back out of here manually. Oh, well. Oh, gosh, right into the sand. That's fine. As long as we don't get hit a second time, we're good. So instead of taking warp number three, which we don't actually have yet, I want to go down this way. And on the left side over here... Actually, I'm going to try to do something. If we chippy charge at these clap traps at just the right time, it'll hit the first hit and then hit the jaw as well. No, oh, it didn't quite do it. Let's see if I can try that again. Ow, oh, you little crud. I hate those stinking jaws, man. Stop it. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. No, we kind of bonked on the second one. Oh, well. We still got them taken care of. Anyways, over here we've got some more coins on Diddy Kong. Probably got <laughs> almost as many coins as we'll ever need for the entire game. You really don't need that many coins, even though the game throws hundreds of them at you. So we'll go ahead and grab those. We're back up to 16 here. And let's move on over this way. So we've got another uh, critter here. But this is where we can get warp number two. So I actually want to go take warp number two because we had that uh, barrel back this way, as well as the uh, red blueprints over here. So I want to go and actually grab that crud. I know we haven't actually found Snide yet, but we'll find him eventually. So we'll get the blueprints now. So let's hop inside and get some rocket barrel boost going. Heck yeah, bro. So yeah, we can press A to boost up, let go to drop down. We can hold Z to hover in place just like that. And we will be able to shoot, which is uh, what I want to do. So I'm gonna fly over this way to this guy, get lined up just right, and start spamming some shots. 
And just like that, he goes down. These guys go down super quickly if you just shoot them a bunch. And I stinking goofed and slid. Can I jump back up? Come on. No, dude, I gotta go rocket boost again. And the blueprints despawned. Gosh dang it. All right, let's try that one again. This guy is gonna hopefully be respawned. No, my blueprints, dude. I gotta wait for him to respawn now. Well, there he is. All right, so let's just do a dash attack here and then get up to his face, do a little jabby action, and there we go. Man, that was that was a big goof, but we got the blueprints now, or the red prints, whatever you want to call them. We're going to go down here, and let's take warp number two to go back over this way, and now we'll be able to grab warp number three and warp number four right there as well. So let's go and yoink both of those scrubs, and up this way, we're going to have some red bananas and yet another one of these barrels. Let's see, how am I doing? Okay, we're back to full. We can only hold 20 crystal coconuts, so doing good so let's go ahead and fly up here and grab this crud and where i want to go is this ring right here we have a five banana inside so i want to get that but also we, if we fly through it three times it'll spawn some crud so let's go ahead and fly through this crud well three times there is two and there is uh, number three and for doing that it's gonna free this bird guy right here so we don't get a golden banana right away, but after we free this guy, we'll be able to play a little minigame. And if we beat the minigame, then we can get a golden banana. But before we go and play the minigame, man, <laughs> I say that a lot during the series. Before we go and do this thing, I'm going to do this other thing. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now. So after this bird flies away, he's going to say to go meet him for a minigame. But I want to go grab a banana on top of a building real quick. So we'll we'll do this minigame. And if I do this right, for some reason, the game thinks we're starting the minigame now. Um, and it'll just teleport me over to where he is. So I want to fly on top of this building over this way. And hopefully I can do this in time. I'm going to fly over here. And I want to grab this five banana. And if I did this right, the game should think that I'm actually trying to play the minigame. And I'm going to fail because, well, I'm not following behind him very well. So if things work out, it should say I failed and I can hit try again. And it'll warp me over to where he is. So I guess in the meantime, I'll try to grab some goodies here. There we go. It worked out. Okay. So if you didn't do this strategy, you could just fly over to the barrel and you could just talk to him there. But yeah, for whatever reason, it started the game already, so it kind of failed here. I can hit try again, and now it warps me over here automatically, which is very convenient. And something else that's very convenient. So what we have to do is fly around uh, behind him and fly through all the rings he leaves behind. But very conveniently, during this mini game, we have infinite... Oh, let's get in here. Come on, get in there. Crud! We have infinite crystal coconuts, so we don't have to worry about running out of that crud. So let's fly behind him, and we cannot miss a single ring. Yeah, flying through rings in a, in a rare game, kind of getting flashbacks to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but that's okay. I mean, Nuts and Bolts is my favorite game of all time, so flashbacks to that are always up my alley. My big challenge here is actually going slow enough. Oddly enough, this guy is really slow, so you don't want to fly too far ahead, because if you have to start turning around, that's going to get awkward. So I like to fly through, just hold on to Z so we can hover in place, and just kind of wait, and just like that. The big thing you want to avoid is landing. If you touch any surface, you're going to cancel your jetpack and you're basically going to automatically fail because you're just not going to be able to get inside these rings in time. So yeah, landing is the big problem that you want to avoid. And in particular, down this way, there's going to be some trees. Oh, actually, I guess we're good. Okay. Well, there are some trees over that way. And if you land on a tree, then it's going to ruin your day. But anyways, we've got the golden banana up there. I'm going to say it again, guys. But before we get that golden banana... I want to go over this way. We've got another building here, and on top is going to be a switch with Diddy's face on it. So let's go smack that crud. I love smacking Diddy's face switches. So we'll go and smack that. And that one will make the giant totem pole in the middle. <laughs> okay, Ryback. We've got the giant totem pole in the middle who is going to start spinning around. And we have to feed that guy with some nuts. So let's go grab some crystal cocoa nuts, which we're not going to feed to that guy. And I want to drop down on this side, because right over here, there's going to be some red bananas down there. So we'll drop down, and let's go and grab those. Just four of them, so we should be up to 62 bananas now. You know what? Let's go around back, because around back, this is how we can recharge our sound. So let's go get that crud. Yeah, <laughs> I only used one of them, but we're going to go ahead and recharge it anyways. And we're going to go this way now. Drop down. Hopefully not... I might as well grab an orange. But hopefully not fall into the quicksand here. Yeah, boy. Explosions are scary, but we avoided that crud. So I'm going to go over here and grab warp number four. Let me see how I'm doing on ammo. Uh, 47. Okay, this is overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to Funky just to get my ammo back. Because to feed the guy in the middle, I'm going to make sure... want to make sure I have plenty of ammo. 
And you might have noticed, this level has a ridiculous amount of boss portals. There's five boss portals in this level, so they're popping up all over the place. We're not going to go into any of them for a while. So we could try to just sniper shot and feed this guy from here, but he's going to start spinning really fast, and it's going to be a huge pain in the butt. So I'm going to go and take warp number four, and that will put me back over by the rocket barrel. So I'm going to take the rocket barrel, basically hover right in front of this guy's face. We're good on crystal coconuts, okay. I'm going to hover right in front of this guy's face and just shoot right at him. So let's hover on over. I want to line up with, with his mouth here, just like that. And oh, let's get a little bit lower here. And I'm just going to spam a few shots. There we go. Because the the spot you have to actually shoot to feed him is a little bit awkward. So I usually just shoot a few times here. That's why I wanted to make sure I had plenty of ammo. Just got to do it a few more times. Um, there we go. Okay. So with that one, we're going to go and unlock some switches over by this temple. There's going to be five different switches. One for each Kong. So I want to do the Diddy one today. But now that we've done that, let's go up here and actually get this golden banana. Just like... Get in there. No! That was what I was trying to avoid, dude. Gosh dang it. Yeah, if you touch the bottom of that ring, then you lose your jetpack. What I wanted to do was fly through and then fly over to the temple, but now I have to walk through this winding path again. Oh well. So I'll just go right through here. And the Diddy switch is going to be the bottom right one, so we'll go here and smack that crud. Just like that. And I want to have plenty of ammo for inside as well, but I think I think 30 should be good. We're not going to need a whole, whole ton. But if I had, like, two ammo, I would definitely want to restock. Because we're going to have to hit some switches inside here. Okay, got it first try. <laughs> Let's go to the left side first. So this opens up two forked paths. I'm going to go to the left side first. Might as well shoot this guy. I don't think I need the watermelon. And over here, a single red coin. Yeah, if you want to be an extreme completionist, you got to go get that crud, that one red coin. So we'll go back now, and we'll take the other fork. Let's go ahead and put our gun away, because we can move a bit faster without it. Over on this side, we're going to have another forked road. So we have to shoot this target next, so we'll smack this guy a couple times, and we'll go hit that crud. The right path is going to have a red balloon I want to get, just like that. I missed it, dude! How dare I? No, stop missing it, you crud! Wait for it. Come on. No. <laughs> okay, I got I to gotta get closer, man. I'm not a good shot here. There we go, okay. And over here we have another new enemy. We've got clobbers. They might look like regular barrels, but if we get close, yeah, they're gonna start charging us and we can't kill them with regular attacks. But of course we got good old grenades, so we'll smack them with that crud. Or you could use your uh, your guitar. So we can throw grenades in first person as well, so there we go. And get ourselves another little red coin. So got that crud. Now let's move on this way and take the other fork in the road. And this is going to be where, I guess, a clump is, but smack that guy. Uh, you know what? Let's get the oranges. But this is where the golden banana is for this area. And now, prepare to get scared, guys. This always freaked me out as a kid, but let's go and grab this golden banana. Get out. <laughs> yeah, we got a target and a timer. We have to run back out of here before the timer runs out. I always thought as a kid, if this crud hit you, it would give you an instant game over, but it doesn't. It actually just does one point of damage, so it's not that big of a deal, but it always freaked me out so much as a kid, dude. But we got it, man. We're out. We are safe. And, oh, no, do not go back in there. We're going to now go over this way. Dodge those grenades, hopefully. Looking good. And I want to go to Snide next to turn this blueprint in finally. So there's Funky right there. I want to grab the tree right here because there's some vines to get across. You could just take damage and just jump across the sand that way, but I like to avoid damage boosting whenever I can. So we're going to go over here and we'll drop down. Snide's right over that way, so we'll get to him. But I want to go grab uh, warp number five. And now we'll go to Snide. I guess I'll take the stairs. Let's go up this way. Dodge those Kong barrels. Let's go down. I'm going to do it. It's going to work this time. Come on. And, oh my gosh, it canceled it like the last little frame there. Oh, well. Let's go inside Snide's HQ. We've got a new level, which means we're going to have a new animation for giving the blueprint. That's what we need, Kong. Another golden banana for you. So let's check out this new animation here. Bad, I like that one. And that is the best golden banana, banana number 15. And you can see our blueprints now. We've got two of the red ones and still just one yellow and zero for everything else. Oh well, let's get back out of here. We're actually almost done with Diddy Kong for this level. Just a little bit more to go. Okay, my revenge. Let me get it. No, dude. Watch, revenge. We're going to get it perfectly. 
Yeah, there we go. Got the one-two punch. So we're going to go down this way. And this is pretty much the last thing we're going to be doing as Diddy Kong here today. Got some stuff for Tanny Kong there we can't do, but we've got some red bananas here. That'll give us our banana medal. Awesome. We're up to three of those now. Got to get 15 before we go visit Cranky Kong. And there we go. We got that. On top of these trees is going to be a few more. And this is going to be a little bit awkward, guys, but I'm actually not getting all 100 bananas on Diddy today. And the reason for that is something that's going to pop up sometimes during this series is sometimes you just can't do everything with one Kong all in one go. To get the last 10 bananas on Diddy, we're going to have to do some stuff with Donkey. So we'll get those last 10 red bananas for Diddy during Donkey's episode, and we're going to just have 90 for now. So, oh well. But what I want to do now is go down here. There are these gongs, and what's going to happen after we hit all four of these gongs, this little platform in the middle is going to turn into a giant tower. And what I want to do is a little bit of a speedrun trick. If we hit the gong like this, and we actually dash back, we can jump on here before the tower starts going up. And if we can do that, well, it'll put us right at the top of the tower where the golden banana will be. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the other two. And then when the last one hits it, I'm going to try to jump up there before it goes up. If we don't do that, all we have to do is go and get the rocket barrel, so it's not a big deal. But let's see if I can do this. So we'll go like this, turn around, and come on. Oh no, come on, get up there. I made it! Okay, there we go, guys. So a little bit awkward, but we got up there in time, so now we don't have to go take the rocket barrel. And we'll immediately get the final golden banana. So let's go ahead and grab that. Five out of five are done. And with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We do get a little saxophone icon to appear down there, but that's all we're going to get for Diddy right now. We have almost everything. We just need those last ten red bananas, which are going to be in a red balloon. And we'll get that during Donkey's episode. So... Let's go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time and actually play as Tiny Kong. So, I'll see you guys then. Take care.